Uh, let's start sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down and back, and let's just start with some chest squeezes. We'll come into our cactus pose and just squeeze the chest as you bring the forearms together. Good, four more. Three, two, one. Let's reach up to the sky. Just feel that stretch through the torso. Four, three, two, one. Reach across the chest. Four, three, two, one. Relax and let's squeeze the lower abdominals as we alternate the knees up to the sky. Always trying to remember to sit up nice and tall. Four, three, two, one. Let's take our arms out to the side and do a nice rib cage stretch here. Good. Hold it upright and let's tap our hands together and open. Feel that stretch in the torso and the spine. Four, three, two, one, other side. Four, three, two, one, hold those arms here. I know they're probably getting tired, but <laughs> We're gonna work them today, just a little bit. And reverse directions for four, three, two, one, palms up, squeeze the biceps as you touch the shoulders and back out. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo, shake it out. Nice little neck roll all the way around. Take your time. Once you get to the ear, let's go the other way. And one more time each direction. Oh, this feels so good today. And reverse. Very good. Shake it out. All right. So we have a fun workout plan for you today. Um, if you have anything that will help you slide on the floor, um, like a paper plate or paper towel or something, um, grab that. Or I think if you have carpet, you can probably just wear socks and that would probably slide enough for you. Um, and then if you have a ball, if you don't have a ball, it's okay. You can use a pillow or anything like that. Um, so a pair of paper plates and a ball if you have it. Let's get started with some seated leg exercises with the plates. So for this, um, we're lifting our heels up, we're just on our toes, and we're just sliding forward and back, squeezing those hamstrings. I know we miss these plates so much. <laughs> I gotta throw them in there every now and then. Four, three, two, one, now feet are together. We're gonna to make a big circle forward, side, and around. Like you're a frog swimming in the water. Uh, we're gonna add some arm movement here. For some mind brain coordination. <laughs> Good, let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. And now let's reverse, side, forward, in. Side, forward, and now we're doing the elementary backstroke. <laughs> Good, four more. Three, two, and one. Now we're only kicking one leg out and sliding it back in. You can add some 
arm movement here as well. Four, three, two, one, other side, open and close. Four, three, two, one. Now both arms and both feet. Like a jumping jack, but we're not jumping, we're sliding. Five, four, three, two, one. Now that our feet together, we're going to take them both in and both out. And then hamstrings again. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. All right, we'll keep the plates nearby because we'll use them when we're standing. But I do want to do a couple more seated strength exercises for the lower body. So our knees and feet are together. Let's do our leg extensions. Feet are flexed. We'll just tap the heel down when you land. Really focusing on these muscles here. This one's important to help strengthen our legs so we can get in and out of our chair or car or wherever we're sitting. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one, hold it here, let's flex and point the toes. Feel that stretch in the calf muscles. Four, three, two, one, hold it here, leg circles around, still squeezing the top of the legs. Don't forget about your quadriceps. And circle the other way for four, three, two, one, and release. Ooh, I feel that. I don't know about you guys. All right, let's come to the front of the chair. We're going to do some cat phrases. Let's add some arm movement here. So squeezing those shoulder blades as the elbows come down. Arms come up as you come up on the toes. Four. Three. Two. One, hold it here, hold, hold, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. All right, our favorite exercise is coming next. <laughs> Guess what it is? Let's sit the stand. All right, we're crossing our arms at the chest. Shoulders are relaxed as much as they can be. Squeeze the tummy as you stand up. And then slowly lower back down. No plopping in your chair. We'll do 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and on this 10th one, we get to stay standing. Yay, we made it. All right, let's um, kind of turn our chairs so that way we have some room here. Um, grab your ball if you have it, or a pillow, or just something. A tennis ball, whatever you have. <laughs> it's just gonna kind of help with our balance today. Um, or challenge us a little more. So. Level one, we're gonna do our single leg balance. We're gonna hold the ball out in front, holding onto the chair. Level two, take both hands out onto the ball. Level three, we're gonna reach up and kind of add some dynamic movement here. Try to focus on the point in front of you. Squeeze that belly button to the spine. And release, very good. We're going to do that same thing on the other side. So level one, holding on to the chair, ball is out in front. Level two, woo, hold on to the ball with both hands. 
Level through here, reach up to the sky. Tap it down and back up. We'll do five of these. And relax. Very good. All right, next we're coming into that tandem stance. So we have one foot in front of the other. And for this one, we're just gonna, um, well, level one, hold onto the chair, fall out to the side. Level two, both arms out. Level three, pass through the middle and open. Good job. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Let's switch to the other side. So other leg is in front. Level one is here. Level two, both arms out. Level three, pass through the middle. Squeeze those shoulder blades as you come out to the side. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Woo. Shake it out. All right. Next, we have a rise on the toes. I've got a challenge for you today. Okay, so level one, ball is out in front. We're on our toes. Other hand is holding the chair. Level two, again, just holding the ball out. Level three, we're going to add a toss as we come up to the toes. Keep that core engaged. Woo. And last one, very good. All right, we're gonna get our basketball skills in now. So <laughs> take a step away from the chair so we don't hit it. Um, Basically, we're just taking the ball behind the back and in front of the body. And if you don't have a ball, you can just clap front, clap back. <laughs> so we'll go about eight in this direction. You guys are probably almost there. <laughs> and let's reverse. See if you can get faster, which is kind of hard. <laughs> Good job. All right. Uh, next one, we're going to face our chair. We're going to tap our right leg back. Our hips are forward. If you can, try to keep your chest lifted. Reach the opposite arm out in front and lift that leg. This might be hard enough holding onto the chair. Level two, let go. Level three, we're just gonna come down for two, up for two. Now I'm keeping my back as straight as I can. It's okay to have a slight bend in that supporting leg. Down, two, lift, two, last one, down, two, lift, two. Of course, we gotta do the other side. So here we go. Level one is here. Level two, lift the leg up, try to let go. Level three, down, two, lift, two, three more, down, two, lift, two, down, two, oh gosh, lift, two, down, two, lift, two. That's a hard one. So you guys did good. Um, next one, we're gonna work the core and the balance. So level one, you can do this without the ball, just alternating the knees, um, holding onto the chair if you need to. If you wanna add that challenge, we're gonna twist a little bit so the ball is coming to the outer part of the uh, leg as we lift up. You can totally do this without a ball. I'm not gonna give you a level three. I think this is probably enough. If you really want it, you can try to come up on the toe, but that's a hard one. <laughs> Ooh, I don't even know if I can do it. Oh gosh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> Four, three, two, and 
two, and one. Great job. All right, we're gonna do some lower body strength. So our feet are turned out to the side. We have our ball with us. We are going to take it down as we squat and then shoot the basketball as we come up. So we go down and shoot. Focus on squeezing the glutes. Lots of mind-brain coordination today. Good, now a little challenge. We're gonna pulse it down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Ooh, feel that burn in those quadriceps. Shake it out. You can put your ball aside for a second. And let's take one plate if you have one. Actually, I'm gonna use the red one so you can see it better. Okay. Um, so this next one is kind of like a side lunge. So my supporting leg is always is bent and I'm keeping the plate leg straight as I slide out and back in. My chest is lifted, shoulders down and back. Trying to keep those hips forward. If this one bothers your knee, don't go down as far. I can relate, I have a knee issue as well. But it's good for us to strengthen those areas. Good, two more. And release. Other side. So remember the supporting leg can be bent. Straight plate leg. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to put the plate in the middle of the chair, and we're going to step to one side of it. I think we know what's next. We're going to do some log steps. So we're going to pick up the knee enough to where we step over the plate on the other side. Same thing. Working those hip flexors and the core. Four, three, two, one. Now I have a little challenge for us. We're gonna come behind the plate this time. And we're gonna step over with a big step with the right foot first. Then we're gonna take the right foot first and go backwards. So we'll do five starting with the right and five starting with the left. Here we go. So we go up, up, back, back. Take your time. If you need to hold on to the chair, you certainly can. And back, back. Three more. Up, up. Back, back, up, up, back, back, up, up, back, back. Last one. And now let's start with the left foot first. So we go left, right, then back, left, right. Three more, up, up. Back, back, two more, up, up, back, back, last one, up, up, back, back. Good job, you can say goodbye to the plate. Yay. <laughs> All right, I've got one for the calf muscles, so we're facing our chair. We're just coming up on the toes and hold it here. Level two, lift one arm up, level three, 
Both arms up, hold, hold, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Ooh, let's shake it out. And let's take one leg back for a nice stretch here. Chest is lifted, back leg is straight, front leg is bent. Ah, pressing that back heel to the ground and switch sides. And relax, level one, grab a pant leg, level two, see if you can grab that foot, level three, reach that opposite arm up to the sky. This one is really good for us. We probably don't do it enough. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, and release. Other side, level one, grab the pant leg, level two, grab the foot, Level three, reach that opposite arm up to the sky. Four, three, two, one, and release. Let's have a seat into our chair. Um, if you have your ball or pillow, grab that. I want to do a little core, and then we'll do some more stretching. All right, we're going to start with that figure eight. Always squeezing those palms together. So if you don't have a ball, squeeze, 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 and just um, go side to side like we are. So one of my favorite shows right now is America's Next Top Model. And uh, on Netflix, they have, or yeah, I think it's Netflix. They have all these series that you can just watch back to back to back. And the one that I saw yesterday, they had the biggest balance challenge ever. They were dressed up like these ghostly exorcist models. Um, and they were coming down this really big stairwell and they were not allowed to look down. And they had these giant high heels on. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't know if I could do that. And they had these um, this material that was like blocking them so they couldn't even look down if they wanted to and um, I was like man I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad that's not me right now <laughs> uh, tap down to the hip reach up I was like I'm gonna have to tell my balance class about this <laughs> uh, and this one poor girl she fell twice during the fashion show, going down those stairs. She couldn't really redeem herself after that, unfortunately. Good, four more. And three, two, one. Let's take the ball in between the legs, squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze the tummy, and we're gonna squeeze the top of the leg as you lift up and back down. You can hold on to the bottom of the chair if you need it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and release, very good. All right, I've got one more. We're gonna place that ball behind the back or pillow or whatever you have. And we're, we're gonna do our back extension. So um, bring it down to a point where your spine curves there in the lower back and engage the core the whole time. So pull that belly button to the spine. If you don't have a ball, scoot to the front of your chair and widen your feet. Good, four more. And three, two, and one. Very good, let's take our arms out to the side, stretch that rib cage. Side to side, 
Feel those obliques working here. Four, three, two, one, and back up to the center. Very good. All right, we can say goodbye to the ball. We'll do a little stretching while we're here. Let's start with the upper body first this time. We'll take one arm over. And come back to the center, other side. And center, inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, we're gonna open out to the side. Open the chest, open the shoulders. Inhale, reach one more, open out to the side. Inhale, reach. And lower down, very good. We're gonna widen our feet. If you have back issues, you can just stay here with a nice straight back. If you, if this doesn't bother you, try to walk it down and just let the head hang loose. Take some nice deep breaths in and out. And slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Let the head be the last thing to come up. Very good. Let's take one leg out in front, straight back, hinge at the hips, hold it here. If it doesn't bother you, try to reach for that toe. And release, other side. Level one, right here, straight back. Level two and three, reach to the toe. Three, two, one. Come up nice and easy. Bring that knee into the chest. Give it a gentle hug. Flex and point the foot. And foot circles around. And reverse. And relax. Other side. Bring the knee in. Flex and point. And foot circles around. Reverse directions. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Level one, cross at the ankle. Level two, finger four stretch. Level three, straight back, hinge of the hips. Relax that foot down, other side, level one, cross at the ankle, level two, figure four stretch, level three, hinge at the hips. And release, shoulders down, head to the side, stretch for the neck, chin to the shoulder, and lift, two more down, and lift, last one, and lift, now to the chest for three, and lift, two, and lift, last one, and lift, and down to the other shoulder, and lift, two, lift, last one, and lift, yeah, inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale down. Two more, inhale, reach.